today we're going to learn about printing of the production order documents so the topics we'll be discussing today they are available control options variants for printing production documents apply the print functions and that's it so let us start with the business example as production scheduler it is your task to transfer the work list to the work center in your area of responsibility as soon as the work list is to be given to the employees in the form of printing shop flow papers you must use the printing function of the sap ecc system so basically this topic is all about uh, the printing option available for the production order so in the real time what happens is whenever we have a pro whenever we create a production order in sap we need to print it out and give it to the the production guy the operator who is going to work uh, work on it on the machine or the, on the work center so we have a lot of different types of documents that we can print uh, from a production order for example some example that i'll be giving you in the next slide and any of these types of production order uh, documents we have the option to print them we have the option to not to print them that i'm going to discuss today so what are those types of printing available and how to customize those printing so overview of the document printing so in sap what happens is uh, if you talk about from the customizing point of view we have different types of uh, printing available for we can use the uh, what we call it um, sap script to use for the printing or we can use the uh, what we call it uh, pdf layout uh, for the printing purpose so i'll talk about in details in a minute as well and in sp01 is a transition where you can see the spool so whatever you have printed or whatever whatever has someone has printed you can check in sp01 to have a preview of what they have done at what time and all that so let's see more details about this um, printing of the sh shop floor paper so just an overview you can print production order documents online in the background or during updating like status update so we have the option we can directly immediately print it which is online or you can do it in the background as well document printing can be triggered automatically when the order is released using the production scheduling profile so in one of the videos earlier i have shown you the customizing and how you can use the production scheduling profile to print a production order either during the release or during the saving time so we can customize that and print formatting is carried out by abap reports or pdf based print program from the internal buffer tables that i'll talk in a minute from the customizing and you predefine the forms of individual documents using sap script or pdf based form so same thing like third and fourth point that i'm going to show you in a minute <coughs> excuse me so list types for order documents as i said earlier we have different types of um, uh, tickets that we can print different types of printout that can be print depending on the different operations for example here you can see object list so object list is the main one that the production order printout that is known as object list and then we have the operation control ticket that means you can print out the details for each operation for example if you have say four operation in the routing or a four operation in the production order you just release first operation and other relation are not yet released so only the first operation is released so you can print out the first operation details and we can give it to the operator who is going to work on it so that is known as operation control ticket later on when we release the second operation then we will printing the second operation as well <clears throat> then we have other tickets like job tickets time tickets uh, that will time tickets will discuss in the other topics later on in detail confirmation slip like when you confirm uh, one operation so there's a confirmation step as well that i'm going to discuss in more detail in the other topics later on so once once you confirm an operation like this operation has been finished for example first operation was released and then the, when the first operation is finished 
someone will do the confirmation so as soon as the confirmation is done SAP will print another confirmation slip for the production for the first operation only and there's some others as well like pull list withdrawal material withdrawal when the material will be withdrawal your system will print a, uh, a document PRT overview PRT can also print can be printed and all that so these will discuss in detail here in a minute and as I said earlier they using either uh, ABAP reports or forms so like PDF forms so I'll, I'll, I'll be showing you how where they are customized or where they are assigned in the customizing for the printing documents print control <coughs> so from the customizing print of view point of view I'm going to show you how you can customize it but um, before that whenever you print something um, you you can either print it as an original print or you can do it as a reprint so I'm going to show you the difference between original print and the reprint so basically if you want to print something for printing we discussed before the transaction is CO 04N that's a printing transaction so if you want to print something you can use this transaction and to, to see the spool is SP01 where you can see what is printed what is not like the SP01 so first we'll use this transaction to print something so if I go to um, CO04 and enter enter any production order so say I want to print this production order and say execute so if you have more orders, they, more, all, they all will appear here. You can select all of them like this and then you can multi-print them if you want. So I'm just trying to print one order. Then you can click on this button mass processing. And here you can uh, see this one print mode. Either you have the option to print original print or the reprint. Let me show the difference. Original print means with original printing for an order or release operation and their objects like material component, PRT and so on are printed. So whenever you see original print, so when you're clicking on the selecting the original print up to this time, whatever operation are released, they all will be printed. However, in the case of reprint, reprinting an order reprints all operations that have previously been printed. For example, if you have printed something a couple of hours before, if you use a reprint, same thing will be printing but if you have printed something few hours before and now somebody has re released the next operation then the new release operation will also be printed in the original print so that's the difference so original print will be printing whatever is updated whatever is latest as per the release of the operation however reprint will be printing only whatever the last print was so it doesn't matter if there's a new re release whatever the last print was so that's the main difference so here we can select original print for example or we can select doesn't matter reprint say execute see execute button once you execute that done at the bottom is showing you a mass mass processing executed one log if you want to see the log you can go to mass processing log of last MP so here it's showing you the green light green light means all done it's saying order is printed now wherever this is connected whatever printer this is connected to it will go and print on that printer so printer setting I'm going to show you as well where you can assign the printer as well but as I say you can use CO04 and for printing but to see where where and what you have printed you can use SP01 if you go to slash and SP01 and by default will show you your name your user ID you can change if you want you can by default will show you today's date if you execute that so this is this, this is what I have just printed. So it tried to print a lot of stuff like LF01, LK02, LK01, LG03, LG02, LG01. The different types of printing that we're going to discuss in a minute. But LG01, the last one is the main one for the production order. LG01 means production order printout. If you want to see this printout, you can click on this little button, the second one where my cursor is, and it will show the display of the printout see that, that that is what system is going to display we're going to print exactly same thing will be printed now this is SAP standard and that can the, the this layout can be changed by the abapper as well